Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if new welcome to my channel. Well today we are going to do a full face makeup with all of the Kix Beauty Awards winner of 2018. Kix is here in, the, in Scandinavia, one of the Scandinavia's leading cosmetic chains. So they sell makeup from many different brands from Urban Decay, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Estee Lauder, uh, Lancome, L'Oreal, I think, many other brands, but they also have their own makeup products, beauty products. Every year, for the last four years, all of the members of Kix, members including Sweden, Finland and Norway, can have an opportunity to vote for the best beauty product or makeup product. For this year, I have all of the beauty products that won 2018 Kix Beauty Awards and I'm very excited and I'm going to use all of them in this video. So I can show you, here is the magazine that I got a couple of weeks ago. And when you open this page, there have um, Kix Beauty Awards 2018, some of the products. We can see that there is Lacombe for best foundation, uh, Modern Renaissance is best palette. They also have best concealer, this is MAC, Pro Long Lasting Concealer, and they have kicks it's like a best glow best highlighters that's one of their palettes and the other other pages you have the best brow product setting spray lipstick products uh, multi-purpose products and mascara and a couple of a uh, couple of skincare products too i don't have skincares in this video but i have all the makeup products i already had the modern renaissance palette and this palette from uh, Infinity palette from Linda Halberg. So I purchased the other products that I didn't have and here are they. So today we are going to try them all and create a full face with all of the Beauty Awards winners 2018 or Kix Beauty Awards winners 2018 and I'm very excited. If you want to see what products are the best here in Scandinavia, then please keep on watching. So, yes, I'm very excited to do this video. I have all of the products. I'm so, so excited. And I'm going to read what people think about them and why they are the best beauty products here or makeup products, not beauty products. Let me see, we have to start with a primer. Again, Read on the website, they say more than thousands of beauty lovers have for the fourth year in a row voted for the best beauty products and here are the winners. So let's find the primer first, the primer, 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 primer. Okay, the best primer is uh, this one. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer Primer Plus, Moisturizer in One. This doesn't feel like a primer, it's very runny and it's not thick as a primer but it keeps your makeup in place and it moisturizes the skin all day and uh, during the whole working day and I, I love it says one of the um, persons that voted for this primer so I'm very excited, I haven't tried it myself it says 24 hours hydration plus 127 percent hydrating 88 percent said it makes made their makeup last all day, 97% said it feels lightweight, 91% said makeup goes flaw on flawless, flawlessly. So I'm very excited. I haven't tried this primer and I'm definitely going to do that. So this is how the primer looks. Oh, oh it's very runny. Strange smell. I know. I'm very excited to try it. It goes on very easy. It doesn't feel thick. It feels very lightweight, a little bit sticky, but I like that kind of primers. So we'll see. Now we're going to move over to the eyebrows and uh, the best eyebrow product is this Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade. And I got mine in medium brown. I haven't tried this product before. I heard it's very pigmented and some people like this one more, some people like uh, other kind of uh, pomades. I haven't tried the Anastasia brow, uh, Deep Brow. I did try her eyebrow pen and I love that one. And I did have it in medium brown. I kind of liked that shade on me, so that's why I got this one. 
let's see what they say about it. Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade, favorite and keeps my eyebrows matte. I go back to this one over and over again. It's very easy to use and get natural results. And I get compliments on my eyebrows every time I wear this product. Sounds good. This is how it looks. I'm going to use an eyebrow, Bobbi Brown eyebrow pencil. And it's oh, very soft. Let's see. Try not to use too much. Uh, it's very pigmented. This one is very pigmented, but also very soft. A little bit harder to work with than my uh, Revolution pomade. Oh, this one is more pigmented and very easy to use a little bit too much of it. I need to clean that up, but I kind of like this product right now. Looks good on my eyebrows. Just need to clean it a little bit. They are not twins, they are sisters. To clean my eyebrows, I'm actually going to use MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer that is also one of the winners. And this is the best concealer. Let's see what it says about it. MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. It covers very good and stays on the place. And my dark circles are gone. Sounds good. I'm going to use it around to fix my eyebrows. But this is NC15. I don't know if the shade is right. I have no idea, but we hope so. I'm going to use my brush. Looks like this. Take just a little bit on my hand. Back on my hand. There it goes. Looks like a nice shade on me. We'll see. I can say that it is very pigmented and very easy to blend. So far, I like it for this purpose, but we'll see how it's going to work under my, under the eyes. Wondering if I'm going to use my foundation first or if I'm going to use the, um, the eyeshadow palette. Actually going to take this foundation because I haven't used it before. This is Lancome Ta Taint, Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. It has wonderful coverage and it feels very soft and silky on the skin. And it's perfect for combination skin. Love it said one. So I think this is, or I don't think, I know this is the wrong shade because I couldn't see on the website what shade I am. So I did open this yesterday and swatched just on my hand to see the shade and it's a little bit too dark for me right now. But we're going to use it for this video. Yes, we are going to. I can mix it to make it light, lighter. I just want to see how this foundation works. On my skin, I'm going to use the beauty, not beauty blender, but this LA Girl sponge. And I like the packaging. It reminds me of uh, YSL All Nighter, the packaging. See, a little bit darker than my, than I would like it. And it's, it has a strong scent to it. It is so wrong shade on me, but it feels like it oxidized a little bit also. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay. If I like this foundation, I will definitely buy a lighter shade and mix those together. So I'm going to go in with the concealer and I'm going to take a little bit back on my hand. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used for my eyebrows, around my eyebrows, to spread the concealer. Yeah. So we're going to Let's 
Yes, this is a nice concealer. It covers a lot. I kind of like this foundation. It feels very light on the skin. I'm going to use this concealer as my eyeshadow primer. Primer. They don't have the best eyeshadow primer 2018. So I'm going to use my concealer. I know it's not going to work because concealers never work, but for my oily eyelids, but yeah, you never know. Miracles do happen. I think this looks um, pretty good. We'll see when the rest of the makeup, but right now it feels like I don't have any makeup on. The primer, uh, Smashbox primer is very light, the foundation is very light, the concealer is very very light and has full coverage. I love this concealer. I have to set it before it starts creasing because it starts it started creasing a little bit under my eyes. But I like it. So I'm going to use the best the best powder, setting powder is this from Kix. This is translucent loose powder and it's white. Let's see. Okay, the best powder, Kix Beauty Translucent Loose Powder. It mattifies, but also gives you a nice glow. It smells good, and it's perfect for me with normal to dry skin. And it's perfect over highlighters. I don't have normal or dry skin, but we'll see how this is going to work on me. So this is the packaging. take some powder, it's very white I'm going to set my concealer and I'm going to set my all uh, the whole face with this powder oh it's very fine milk it reminds me of uh, flower beauty powder I feel like I'm very light under my eyes right now the next product we're going to use is the, the year's best multi-purpose product. And it's this palette that I have a video on. I'm going to link it down below. This is Linda Halbe Infinity Palette. And it says Infinity Palette is the ultimate product bound to no rules, eight colors with infinity possibilities. You use them for sculpturing your face, eyes, brows, cheeks, decolletage and body. You are the creator. Uh, this is the palette and it has a nice mirror, but this is the palette and we are going to use it as a um, contour and blush and also bronzer and highlighter today. So we're going to start to contour a little bit. We're going to use this cigar shade and mix it together together with this shade. So bam, bam. And I do like this uh, palette. This looks nice. Go with all the cigar for contour my nose. So then I'm going to use my blush to bronze my skin. I'm going to use this shade here. Works nice as a bronzer too. I love this palette. It's very multi-purpose palette. Okay, then we're going to use the blush. And for blush, I think I'm going to use the border a little bit shimmery. I think I'm going to use this one for the blush. Where's my blush brush? Here is my blush brush. So boop boop. And we're going to use a highlight one for highlighting. And I don't know which one. I think I'm going to mix both of them. Back and forth. Ooh, that's stunning. This palette contains four blending powders, highlighters for soft and intense luminosity. Use the palette to enhan enhance your features or create an even and soft glow. Get ready to glow. Ooh, it's beautiful. Love it. OK, 
Kicks Beauty Glow Kit. Get surprised. I never thought this could be so good and so cheap. This is my favorite. I use it as highlighter or eyeshadow sometimes. Recommend it to everyone. So I'm going to take this. There are four shades. I'm going to swatch all of them. Ooh, nice wet looking highlighters. If you can see it, I'm going to use this Carefree. Care this one? I don't know how to pronounce this name. But I'm going to use it. Ooh. This is stunning. I really, really like this. Nice highlight palette. Love it. I feel like my lips are very bleh. So I'm actually, I bought actually two products. Kix Beauty Award winners of 2018. One is lip, lipstick and one is a lip gloss. So the best lip gloss in Scandinavia, the winner is Buxom Full On Lip Polish. Totally in love. This is so nice and beautiful. I love the feeling on the lips when I apply it. Love it. It's not sticky and it's beautiful, better than any other lip gloss. So they had different shades and I got this one. This is in Celeste. I'm going to <coughs> have it on my lips while I'm finishing my look and then I'm going to use the best lipstick. Um, so this is a Buxom. This is in uh, Celeste. Oh, let me see. It looks sticky, but we'll see. Ooh. This is a beautiful shade. So sparkly. Uh, it definitely plumps my lips. See, it is, I feel like it's a little bit sticky. And it's, it plumps my lips, I can say. I can feel it on my lips. It does something to them. Oh, I like it. I really like this. Like, like this lip gloss. They have different shades. I choose this one. So let's move on to the Cakes Beauty Award winner of all eyeshadow palettes. And it's Modern Renaissance. Surprised or no? So I already use this. I, I know I like it. So I'm going to create this makeup look. I'm going to create a very fast makeup look with this palette. So I'm going to use uh, this shade all over my eyelid. So then I'm going to go into uh, this one, this one in my crease as a transition shade. Then I'm going to use another smaller blending brush and then I think I'm going to go into very powdery. Go to into this shade here. And then I'm going to take another smaller brush. This is a number something from BH Cosmetics. Can't see the number. And I think I'm going to mix red uh, this one. I'm going to mix this one and this one together. So this one. So I'm going to take my finger and go in this shade. My finger. Number eight and take uh, this shade under my lower lash line. I'm going to take more precise brush and then use this darker. Bring it closer on my lower lash line, but not bring it the whole way. I'm going to use a cleaner brush and take this first shade a little bit under my eyebrows. So the eye makeup is done. To set everything, we're going to use the year's best setting spray and it's Fix Plus. 
MacPix Plus. And I already used this a couple of times. And I'm going to set everything before we do mascara. Beauty Award winner of the best mascara 2018 is this Clinique High Impact Mascara. Do you want length and volume? Then pick this mascara. It goes very on smoothly, easy to build up, and it's not going to get uh, clumpy. And your eyelashes are going to look soft and beautiful, long and volume, volumized and long. Okay. I think actually that I tried this mascara last year or two years ago and that I didn't like it. I recognize this packaging. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, I think I had it. It's green packaging and I didn't like it. But we'll see. Maybe it was an old one. Maybe it works better this time. You never know. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to try that mascara. I really hope it's going to work. There's a nice brush. Let's see. It goes on very easy. It separates my eyelashes nice. So they're definitely longer. And I kind of like how it looks right now. It's a kind of mascara that you need to work with. It's not very easy like my like my L'Oreal mascara that you just blah blah picks put a little bit on it and my lashes are done. This is definitely a mascara that you need to work with a longer on the eyelashes. But if it if it gives a nice result and it stay it stays on the eyelashes the whole day and doesn't smudge does I don't care how much you need to work with it. It looks nice. I think it made my eyelashes very long and I like it. But yeah, I don't I don't hate it. I don't hate it. The last thing we have to try today is the best lipstick, liquid lipstick. Kicks Beauty Awards winner of best liquid lipstick and it's Kicks Beauty Liquid Lipstick. One of the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried. It doesn't dry down matte and you're not going to get very dry and um, cracky lips uh, that you can get with other liquid lipsticks. It stays on really good on your lips. I got this in shade 06 Dream Cream, this liquid lipstick. Haven't tried any liquid lipsticks from Kix, so I'm very excited to try this one. So let's remove uh, this lip gloss. I like this lip gloss. I do like it. I understand why people love it. This is the shade. Ooh. It's very liquidy. Ooh, it smells chocolate. So guys, this is the final look with all of the Kix Beauty Awards winner of 2018. I really like how this makeup turned out. I love this foundation. I really love this foundation. I know it's wrong shade on me. I'm definitely getting one uh, lighter than this one. I definitely like the primer. The Smashbox primer, I like it. Uh, I do need to use another that will uh, cover my pores, but because I don't think it made my pores look smaller, but definitely made my skin look fresh and feel very nice and light. I love eyebrow product, Anastasia uh, Deep Brow. Really like this one, love it. Uh, also, really like the concealer. I really like the concealer. I also really like the powder, this translucent powder. I like how it mattified, but also gave this nice healthy glow to my skin. I love the eyeshadow palette. Can't say anything about it. I love this eyeshadow palette. And also Infinity palette, something I also really, really like. Uh, I'll definitely travel with. Love this highlighter palette. I really like this highlighter palette. I think this palette is amazing. And it's not expensive at all. I'm going to put information and links to the website down below and with the prices and everything. I don't know if you can buy Kix products if you're outside Scandinavia. I'm not really sure. Mascara, I do like. It's 
a little bit harder to work with because you do need to take your time and build it up. You did transfer a little bit up a lash line. It looks like I have an eyeliner on. I don't like that. I know my eyelashes look nice and look long. It's not really my favorite mascara, but I don't, don't hate it. Lip gloss. I like this lip gloss. Where is it? I like this lip gloss. I'm very surprised that it worked this wonderful on me. And the lip, li lipstick, it did dry down. Uh, I think it dried down matte. Transforms just a little bit, maybe it's still wet. I like the color. It looks nice on my lips. It looks very light. It feels very light. I'm very happy with the whole look. I think, I think it turned out beautifully. I understand why this is all of the Kix Beauty Awards winners, because they deserve to win and they did deserve the attention they got and yeah I'm very happy with the whole makeup look I'm happy with with everything that I bought I think these products are amazing and I do understand why people love them so guys this is it thank you so much for watching give a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye